Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Endo Bill Universal Bike Mount. Uh, yeah, this is uh, really a li little bit a special bike mount. So usually bike mounts are not worth to make a review or video review about that. There are hundreds or thousands around and usually I'm definitely not going to make video reviews. But this was a little bit special and so if you are interested into that, uh, that could be really interesting to watch here because this review makes uh, a couple of really uh, interesting turns so when you look at the amazon listing you'll find out it has a lot of positive reviews almost only five star reviews i mean it's a new product and you can be pretty sure at the beginning uh, they want to promote so 99 percent probably are fake so don't trust them and when you see the videos or the photos there yeah it makes sure people are not really trying they got this product for free and they just uh, made a couple of videos or pictures and uh, didn't probably didn't even use them and uh, put it into trash or give it to friends and just give five star reviews it's a little bit a uh, problem but anyway yeah so here we are with this thing and if you buy it and you you get it like me and you think okay yeah it has a lot of five star reviews looking nice and uh, you get it you want to put your phone in here think okay that's not looking bad i mean this is some kind of rubber which is good like good protection it has also like a, a some kind of an l shape i mean it's really a small thing here but it definitely helps to keep your phone here secure or safe so you can just put it here you can see it's pretty wide here so you have these springs on both sides and there's a lot of pressure i mean yeah from for my taste almost a little bit too much but uh, like phones are uh, sturdy built these days so it shouldn't be a problem but you have to make sure that uh, these brackets do not touch uh, the on off or volume or whatever so you have to be really careful so and now you think i mean this is built for actually it says probably not here but on the amazon listing it says you can use it up to seven inches and that's i think a 5.7 inch phone and watch this i mean i go a little bit close to the button here now i'm trying to pull this over but it's absolutely impossible to do that i mean you can do this on this side but it's then pulling the whole thing down and when you want to do that same thing here it's absolutely impossible yeah i don't know what would happen so either this rubber thing would uh, break or the phone would break it's just too much and we are not even to talking about like six or 6.5 inches or so and they are saying you can use it for seven inches for me definitely does not work in this configuration uh yeah just don't do that i mean i have seen pictures of people doing that i don't know uh, what size of phone they are using but it could be pretty risky so either they will damage the phone or the thing over time so is it now a really bad thing so actually not so the thing is um, and that's what's really interesting uh, about this uh, bike mount that most people don't see the point how to really use that here so because we have an additional rubber thing here and we can just put it on top here then we have this handlebar bracket uh, we have to uh, make sure i mean it's uh, it's connected at the beginning so we have to uh, open that and we can just pull it out so this is how this works it's pretty hard to do but you can just push it in or pull it out yeah now i'm yeah, you have to make sure that you don't lose it but uh, it's not such a, a problem it's just a little bit hard but you, a little bit tight so you can just push it back after you insert this rubber thing and then secure the whole thing so you can see the whole thing is super flexible you can do whatever you want to do 
and how you want to secure this is in the handlebar you can make it like 90 degrees like a landscape or portrait or whatever you want to do you can do uh, whatever you want and then secure this thing nicely and now when we have this rubber yeah now i have it secured a little bit too early i think now i have to do this again so now it's more or less okay it's still a little bit to the side but not too much so i put the phone back here but i think i have to push the phone a little bit up because that's the strange thing is it is not like symmetric it is longer uh, on the upper side so there's a, like a thing here which you can just pull uh, over the edge here and that's the other thing here and that's the one here and that's the last one so and this is the additional uh, mount here that's you can see that's not the original one the original uh, things bands are still here so I'm using the additional ones and it's much much better this is now the thing to go and this really works and it works definitely I would say at least till six uh, inches maybe even six and a half with seven inches I would be probably careful with this uh, bike mount but up to about six and a half inches for me it looks really really secure everything brackets here on the side really safe now with this rubber additional rubber here also pretty safe and the most important or the best thing with this bike mount is this uh, handlebar bracket because it's massive you can see it's the biggest one or the uh, yeah, most massive one which i've ever seen really sturdy construction it's this huge screw to secure that and you can really really uh, make a huge really strong hold and uh, the, the other good thing with this uh, mount or bracket here is that the soft rubber pads here inside they are not only loose inside so with a lot of bike mounts uh, they are loose inside and over time with the vibration from the bike they get loose and fall out and there's no hold no it's not secure anymore and uh, so here it's much better it's probably glued inside so it, it looks like they can't get loose this is secure this is strong now everything is good brackets is good it's flexible so yeah it's much better than i was actually expecting I mean, the first thing when you look at it, you see the five star reviews, then you get super disappointed when you look at it just with the original straps. And I think a lot of people will just put it into trash or return it and don't see how this really works with this additional strap. So finally, I think it's a good thing. I mean, it's not super cheap. It's listed for, I think, uh, $22. There's currently a 10% uh, coupon running. So, um, yeah, I think it's a good thing. And I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description. So you can check it out, order it right from there if you need something like that. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.